so this is what was left over after we pulled the uh, mast off. I mean, it's just completely rotten and gone. And so this is how this just slides. It's got tape on this. So it's want to be able to match this up and make sure that I'm putting the right thing back on here. So, boy, that is tight. Okay, yeah, so this plywood base is exactly the same size as that. So, I'm going to go ahead and dispose of this because I don't need to template it, so there's really no value in it. Okay, so that's interesting. Okay, so this had screws of its own. But it was held down by three, three screws there. Interesting. Mm. Oh, yes. He says, acting like he knows what the hell he's talking about. I feel like I'm being cooked alive. I don't feel any hollowness under it. So this comes down, and the entire mast sits on a 4x4 four four steel beam, but these are just wood screws, so there's no... I'm not seeing anywhere that that would... So I think I'm just going to use the same technology that they use, which is I'm just going to put my piece on here, I'm going to screw it through with screws, and then I'll put this piece on top and put screws through it, and maybe I'll see if... Look like those screws line up. But maybe I'll try and put screws all the way through this, through the base. It's interesting because I don't think that the person that did the... Uh, that pulled the mast, I don't think he realized that the mast was actually bolted into this piece. Because when he went to lift it up, he, he tried to lift this bit off of here. So, and the screws failed from here into the plywood. But if those screws hadn't failed, he then, because he's not going to break these bolts off, these are quarter inch bolts, stainless bolts. So he would then have pulled this off if this was through bolted through there, it would have destroyed something in here. And I think it's better to have points of failure in here built into the system somewhere for things to break so that it doesn't destroy something that would be very, very difficult and very, very costly to replace. I think that's better. I'm going to do that. Make my... And I'm just going to make it the same size as the one that I'm replacing. Viola.
And there's where the hole will be. Perfect. Well, there's our... Let's go uh, decide what size hole we're going to drill with this, and then we'll figure out how to drill it. Uh, oh no, it's not there. It's too hot. Too hot. Ooh. We know that. Ooh, that's... Plus that's the biggest one I have, so that'll make it real easy. So that looks like... The one... in about that deep. So I need to get screws that are, that needs to be my one inch, plus this. Oh, this one looks all this much. So, the one thing is there's a little adhesive around the post, so probably to go back and sand on the bottom of that, but then that <clears throat> making sure that I point this straight forward is the ticket. And that will now be our the base of our mast. I do think I'm going to put some, some little, I think I'll put some adhesive under this. I think not under this though. You can see where having it in, having plywood in there allowed it to get wet, caused the aluminum to pit. And uh, so that's dumb. Think about that while I'm on my Home Depot trip. I'll have to sand out a little bit around here where there's this there's a rubberized stuff here and that just needs to be taken out a little bit okie dokie actually versus getting the sander involved probably just as easy to do that Your one tool by, of all tools. by hand further down there. Yep. Just a little bit more, but that was the answer. <sighs> okay. Now it's head down there. <laughs> because it's so hot, I want to die. <sighs> How hot is that? I hate Florida. I hate this place. I hate this boat. I hate you. I hate me. I hate everyone I've ever met. I hate everyone that I ever will meet. I want to die. And uh, people that buy boats are stupid. People that buy boats in the summer are egregiously stupid. And uh, I just wish I was anywhere else doing anything else. This is the hottest that it can possibly be. And this might be hell. Whatever I did, I'm sorry. And uh, Satan, I apologize. If we can move into the rock star section, that'd be awesome, because this blows. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> it's like being in a microwave oven, but hotter. Like an <laughs> oven that has a micro, like if you were in an oven in hell, that was had a microwave inside it, and then you were stuffed in the microwave, Rep and also in the you. sun. Uh, that's what it would be like. Your sweat dripping 
from every possible crack, orifice, juice hole, everything you can imagine. Everything, everything. It's just a big juice factory. It's just all flowing. It's just all, all Rhone, all rivers on Rhone flow to the sea. <laughs> it's just so great that we moved to Florida. I wanted Washington, but Carrie wanted Florida, so here we are. This is great. Thank you, and good night. Actually, I will say that uh, this project, fixing the bottom of the mast, had been easier than I thought it would be. I've been stressing about it a little bit um, because in our estimate, it had question marks next to it, which I associate with like going to a restaurant and seeing market price next to the lobster, which means like you, you can't afford it. Um, so uh, I, I took this project on because I couldn't afford it, but it's actually been easier than I thought it would be. And I think I know more about the system. When we go to step the mast in New York, I know that those two bottom bolts have to come out or the base plate will stay attached and tear out the screws. So I do think there's a case there for uh, doing some things yourself and understanding more about your boat. So just info for me. Okay, well, we're just about ready to get the pieces on here and get out of the sun, hopefully. Under this, I'm going to lay the bead around the outside of some silicone. Just some white silicone, nothing, nothing earth shattering or super special. <laughs> Only I got this uh, with the boat, and that silicone is completely set up inside the tube. So I'm not going to use that at all because that is garbage. Okay, so instead, I'm going to use some amazing goop, multi use, all purpose. I don't have a countersink, but in an emergency, you can actually use a Phillips head. What is the end project? Oh, it was so hot, man. Here's what it looks like. All finished. 